Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anil and in this React.js video tutorial, we will learn that how we can update data in API with the put method. And uh, obviously we will continue our previous video because in previous video, we I already told you that how we can just populate the data inside a form, right? Here you can see that on a page load, we are getting our uh, first record inside this data and after that, let's say we just want to update any particular record. Uh, let's say you just want to update Batman, then you will click on a Batman and you will get this data inside this form. And in this video, we will uh, make a put call for update the data. And uh, let's say we are just updating something here and then we will click on a uh, update user button and then our data will be updated from API also. And uh, this is our API here. You can see that Batman, Tony Stark, XYZ, and Anil Sidhu and Peter and all these results are plotted here. And uh, we are working on uh, APIs since uh, four or five videos. So you can watch our previous videos also if you did not watch that, right? Because they are really important for understanding that how it actually APIs are working. So first thing that we are going to do in this video we will update our uh, these fields data because let's say I am just want to update my Peter data. So my data is uh, uh, populated in the form, but I cannot edit it, right? Still you can see that. So how we can edit this and till now this functionality you can watch our previous video. So now what I'm just going to do, I will update the state here. You can see that we have uh, some states here like uh, name, email and mobile and these are mentioned here and uh, updated on uh, these thing on a uh, first load then select user also right and now what I'm just going to do I will update this state on change of these field right so just right here on change make a arrow function and use here set name because this uh, field is related to the name and pass here event parameter e and this parameter as you know is uh, very powerful and it have our values also so just write here e dot target dot name and now our state is updated on every key change so with the similar way i you can just see that whenever i will just okay just uh, let me refresh it once right um just give me a moment i think i just uh, missed something here mm, let's check yep actually that's that's my bad i have to put here value because we are getting a form value here right so now you can uh, try to change it so now you can see that i can just change this field but till now i can change the other fields also right so now let's do the same thing for uh, other fields also so just copy it from here and paste it with email address as well as on mobile also and just uh, change here simply set uh, email and uh, set mobile and now you will find that we are able to update these old fields right so let's say i just want to change something here dot in and mobile number let's say double one double one and just select when any others like XYZ and just change here like uh, 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 Bruce and uh, Bruce or something. Now you can see that we are able to just change all these fields, right? So uh, now on uh, the click of you update user, I just want to collect this data and send inside the API. So let's do it. First of all, I just need to create a function on it so that we can just call this function on click event right so just define here on click event and uh, let's make a function with the update user and uh, just directly go in this create this function here function this one and now what you can do first of all let's check that we are getting the updated things or not so just make it console dot one and inside this uh, we will just print all values and all values will be there like uh, item and inside item just get all these values name mobile these all are state right and uh, then email and one more thing 
let's try to check that what we are getting in user id is it working fine or not and just print this item here like item all right so just come back here and try to print something so i just want to change peter and uh, whenever i will click on it now you can see that we are get get the peter data like id and everything is perfectly fine so now let's just just create a put request and put request is really similar to the delete request so we can just copy it for a moment right so that we can save time because all we already learned that how we can create the uh, uh, post request get request and all so you have a better idea for a moment and we can save time here now let's uh, put your request here so as you can see that we have to pass here id that what result we want to update all right so for that what we can do here now you can see that we don't have any id parameter for a moment so just simply put here user id because user in user id we have the updated record and this is you just we just seen that inside this console so that's all and now just change this uh, method with the put and we must have to define two more things one is header so just add here some headers like uh, two things accept what we are accepting we are accepting uh, json data so just write here application json and with a similar way we can just define that what data we want to pass so just write here content type content type and uh, one more thing now that we need to just send here body and uh, in the body we will send our uh, all uh, email id mobile and so uh, sorry name mobile and uh, email id and we don't need to send here user id because this is already given in the parameter so we can just remove it and now json dot stringify and just pass here your item because when we will just send the data we must have to convert this object to the string now everything is fine and uh, what now we can just send a request if everything is gonna fine then our result will be updated soon so let's say i just want to update this xyz record just click on update we got the data here change here bruce and uh, mobile number let's say 1010 and just click on update and now you can see that we got the data here updated data and let's check here uh, did we just update the xyz result now this is also updated here let's try to update some more so i just want to update the tony stark because uh, there is some captions problem tony stark and just simply also try to add update email address tony at the rate stark and this is still working fine right so with that way you can just uh, uh, update your uh, data with the api and obviously we are just uh, create a one video on that but in the upcoming videos we will learn that uh, all these things inside a project also so thanks for watching this video if you still have any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box bye bye take care for a moment